Welcome back to the CMT Digital. We are now still talking about the caravanning accessories, and I'm happy to welcome company 10 Haft here today. As representatives, we have Mr. Seiler and Mr. Beck. Welcome to you. The two gentlemen are going to tell us something about smart living in the motorhome. And here, I would just like to pass the floor to you. Enjoy. My name is Michael Seiler, and I'm going to start with a little company presentation. Our company was founded roughly 30 years ago by the brothers Ten Haft. It was Michael and Andreas Ten Haft. One was a nifty developer, and the other one had the commercial responsibility. Our headquarters are in Pforzheim. We were lucky that four years ago, roughly, we moved to a new building. And here we are working together with the development department, um, production and sales. And we also have a central work service um, workshop there. We have a two stage um, sales system, which means that we firstly supply important manufacturers in Germany and Europe, which includes Huma with Huma, Bürstner, and Leica in the end. We also supply apply to um, Knaus and Morevo, and we also supply wholesalers. Most people have heard of Camping Profi, Movera, and um, others. And at the European level, we also have um, importers in every European country. Those who do technical products or produce them, they need a very good service. That's a precondition. We have a central service workshop in Kelton, close to Pforzheim. We have many RV owners who like to make use of this um, central service, and they drive the 200 or 300 kilometers. It's no problem for them. On top of that, we have 16 authorized service stations in Germany. It goes to Flensburg in the north and the Lake Constance in the south. We are doing lots of trainings as well, dealer trainings. So we have 300 um, dealers in-house per year. And we are also going to visit these dealers and we do tail tailor-made uh, trainings for these specific manufacturers. What's very important for us is we have a three-year manufacturer's warranty. And two or three years ago, we had our products um, type certified via the German Federal Motor Transport Authority, which is called KBA. Our traditional product range, of course, comprises the parabolic antennas, and here Oyster is representative. We also have um, flat antennas. They're very popular when there's not much space on the rooftop, and a high range is required by the antenna. So we use sidetrack, and we have um, reception up to Mor down to Morocco by Astra One. We also have TVs and sound boards. For those customers who say the my TV's performance is not sufficient, they take a soundboard and can this connect this via the ADMI, HDMI interface. I would then like to hand the floor, the microphone to Mr. Beck. He's going to present our latest product. Thank you, Mr. Seiler. For the 2021 season, we have two new products in store. First of all, an internet antenna, and second of all, a smart TV. These are two products that complement each other. I would like to start with the Oyster Connect internet antenna. The Oyster Connect is a product for the motorhome and trailer market. Of course, it can be applied to other vehicles, similar vehicles. We, you can get a very good internet connection in your own private motorhome or trailer. 
for the precondition is that you get the data from outside. What's the data you need from the outside? You have the mobile phone connection, which is traditionally LTE, or you can also have Wi-Fi networks, public Wi-Fi networks, campground Wi-Fi networks. Our product has two parts. On the roof, we have an antenna, and um, we have a receiver and um, transmitter unit for LTE. It's, LTE will be more important because it will be able to provide the larger data volume. We have a small router, an LTE router in the vehicle, transferring the data from the antenna and making it available to the customer in the customer's own private Wi-Fi. So the data connection is not done with high-frequency cables, but with data cables. And the customer can receive both Wi-Fi and LAN inside the vehicle, as he or she requests. Here is an overview of the outdoor unit. It's a um, transmit and receive unit. It's optimally positioned as high as possible, and outside you should have as little objects as possible because they can attenuate the signals. And we have a cable going to the inside, to the indoor unit. This name is um, just useful because it transfers can make available two Wi-Fi networks of 2.4 or 5 gigahertz to the user. And it also has a LAN port where you can connect your smart TV without needing to strain the radio bands additionally. You can also connect a router with um, and connect, access this network with several computers at the same time. The outdoor unit is an LTE and Wi-Fi antenna, so both on the rooftop. The outdoor unit comprises an LTE antenna and um, a, a transmitter and receiver unit. We support all European LTE bands, in particular 20 and 28. These are the bands with the low frequencies, the digital dividend, um, which make it possible to ensure reception in rural areas. You use different bands in urban areas, but in rural areas, we really need to get these low frequency bands to so have um, LTE reception at all. The antenna is designed for a huge range because, of course, the campground or the location where you're located with your motorhome is not necessarily in a well-covered area. And a very good antenna gives you the opportunity to have a higher range and better reception. We also have a Wi-Fi antenna for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It's a Wi-Fi client, a piece of hardware that locks into existing Wi-Fi networks when the customer has the access data. And just as the LTE unit, it will be made available to the indoor unit. And this indoor unit will then make it available to the customer via Wi-Fi or LAN. The LTE antenna works with diversity antennas, so we have two separate LTE antennas are included in this one antenna unit. Both are omnidirectional, meaning they can receive quite well in all directions. They don't have to be aligned in a certain way. It doesn't matter how you park your motorhome. You have the best possible reception of mobile phone networks. The nice thing about it is if you have a good antenna, the transmitter can see or hear more than just one mast. And if, you're, if the one is congested, which is close to the camera, which is highly likely, you have another um, radio mast that you can use further away. And the network will manage this on its own and will check where to get the data, where to log in. And if the antenna is good enough to cover this distance, then it will work out fine. This outdoor unit also comprises the Wi-Fi, the MIMO antenna, which is a multiple input, multiple output antenna. 
both for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. That makes it possible not to process several data streams at once. You can achieve higher data rates, but also to, if you have a poor network, you can get a really good reception quality in the end. So all in all, this unit is designed to receive data wherever possible and make it available to the customer. The outdoor unit, as I already mentioned this, is mounted to the roof. It is delivered with a mounting plate, and um, we have um, certain ceiling glue to glue this onto the roof. It's very light. It weighs 1.5 kilograms in total, a little bit less even, so not a real mass uh, mounted onto the rooftop. That's why I can use a simple bond connection technology. You don't have to use bolt connections or anything else. And then cables are um, then ducted to the interior. You need to drill one single hole that holds the cables, data cables, and power cables. The SIM card, which is necessary, is also integrated into this um, outdoor unit. You need to put it in there. So the benefit is that the receive and transmit uh, unit is connected to the actual antenna with very few centimeters cable. You don't have any signal losses over this cable length. The position on the roof is free, so you don't have to choose a particular spot. You can mount it anywhere on the rooftop, wherever it seems to be beneficial. And then you can just um, take the cable to the interior where no one will be disturbed. Of course, you will not be um, drilling holes in the middle of your vehicle. The internet reception is also possible while you're driving using LTE. So you can have um, access to the internet inside. It's very nice for passengers, co-passengers. You can also install special or use special navigation systems from the internet, stream videos, what have you. The 1.5 kilogram mass, I already mentioned that. In total, it weighs um, two kilograms because the accessories also have a weight of roughly half a kilogram. The height is 12 centimeters only not much added to your vehicle's height. You won't have any problems with garages or similar. The indoor unit has three centimeters height and 10.17 centimeter surface and can be installed almost anywhere in the vehicle. You should, of course, install them in an accessible way so you can find the buttons. And the, the RRP is 899 euros, including 90% VAT, and will be deliverable as of February. Which brings us to the new, the second new product, which is the Oyster Smart TV. This matches our internet product Oyster Connect because a smart TV is basically a TV that has an internet connection, a good internet connection with a high data bandwidth. Of course, it can use DVB-T or DVB-S and use the satellite to get the images, but um, it's easier to use this um, um, broadband speed. You need three, five, or six megabit per second. So these two products complement each other quite nicely, the TV and the internet antenna. The TV also has a Wi-Fi interface and a LAN interface. You can use both to connect to the Internet, whichever you prefer. Streaming services can be received. We have lots of apps which are pre-installed, public broadcasting stations and YouTube and so on. And you can just download these services and use them. HBB TV is also included as a function, which helps you to uh, get some interactivity into the system. And of course, the um, you can use WiDi or Miracast to mirror the content from mobile devices onto the, VD, onto the TV screen. 
The Smart TV is available in five different sizes. It's nicely large and 39 inches. That's almost one meters of screen diagonal, 98 centimeters. And then we have 27, 24, 21.5, and 19 inches. So that's um, 70 to 50 centimeters screen diagonal. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Beck, Mr. Seiler, for the presentation of Smart Entertainment on the road. I can imagine that we do have questions uh, because it's getting more and more exciting, this domain, not only watching TV at home on your couch, but also on the road. First question, is the Oyster Connect going to have a DVB-T2 connection? No, it's not planned. That's two different products. DVB-T is included in the TV. The Oyster Connect is just the internet antenna product. So two separate stories. Yes, we're going to look at the next question. Well, how about 5G? Well, of course, that's a popular issue at the moment. 5G is being set up at the moment, um, especially in flat areas where motor homes are traveling. It hasn't been, hasn't made that much progress. For long distance connections, it also has drawbacks. It can supply many users and can offer many high data, data rates. But for our market, it will not be the focus for the next two or three years. So we'll see what's going to happen, what the future has in store for us. The next question comes up. Is the antenna connectable to other routers? Well, that's an antenna which is pretty simple. So it's just supposed to supply internet to customers without having lots of configuration effort. Behind the indoor unit, I can connect additional IT devices, but the purpose of this product is not to cover all IT options that are available in this world. We keep seeing questions, and we try to get as many of them into the remaining time slot. Will there be other color variants so that you adjust to the colors of the vehicle? The outdoor unit is probably meant, and of course we will be basing this on the market requirements. The color we chose right now is the mainstream, which is installed by many vehicle manufacturers. Of course, this might change with the market requirements. It's no problem realizing other colors if that is requested. So special designs with all colorful colors of the rainbow is possible but not planned. Yes, we will not do deep black because that has technical reasons. But apart from that, we're pretty flexible. How about power consumption during operation and standby? In standby, we have significantly less than 0.5 watts, so it's around 0.1 watts. While in operation, it depends whether you're logged into the Wi-Fi system or LAN network, it's less than 10 watts in the worst case. Can you only replace the SIM card in the device on the rooftop? And how about when you're traveling to other countries? Yes, that's true. You can only replace the SIM card in the outdoor unit. That's why you need to climb onto the roof to do that. That's an additional effort for the customer. That's clear, especially if um, they want to replace the SIM card from time to time. There are a few restrictions, unfortunately, because you cannot just um, space the SIM card apart from the transmitter unit and receiver unit. In development, we are working on solutions. I don't want to be too optimistic. We're rather looking for solutions that will be covering several SIM cards at once. Time for one more question, then we'll have an on-spot landing. 
Does the antenna unit also have a GPS signal, especially when it's about fleet management and route recordings? Yes, this technical option is planned but not implemented. Uh, but uh, well, if the, if the demand comes up in the market, then it will be feasible with little effort. At the moment, we don't have this demand because everyone needing this, they have their special services in place. Quite very nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Beck, Mr. Seiler from Ten Haft. Thanks very much for coming and for the information you have given to us. And here, I would like to refer to the brand space. If you are interested and need more information, contact the contact persons via the brand space, and we will be continuing in a few minutes. Thank you.